There's no doubt Eleanor Williams was a troubled teenager, but could she also have been the victim of horrific abuse at the hands of a gang of alleged sex traffickers? Or did she do this to herself? That was the question facing the jury at Preston Crown Court. She's still got a scar on her throat. It's right across there. On top of that, she's had a breast cut. She's got two marks across there. Her ear's been cut, her finger's been cut. She's got rat carved across her stomach. Eleanor's mother, Alison, says as a teenager, her daughter became withdrawn. And in early 2019, aged 18, she suddenly left home, moving to this block of flats in Barry and Furness in Cumbria. Over seven months, Alison reported her daughter missing 32 times. She was going missing for days on end. I was driving around where she lived and I noticed that a light was on in a flat, so I went and knocked on the door and she opened the door and her face was... Oh, it was, she had two black eyes. It was so swollen, I hardly recognised her and she had a cut across her neck. She was just black and blue all over. Staff at the pub where Miss Williams worked also noticed the injuries and thought she was being bullied. One day she came in with um, a particularly bad set of black eyes and I, I said to her, look, just, just tell me what's going on. I'll be able to help you, they're only kids. She didn't say anything for about two minutes and then she said it wouldn't stop and they weren't children. They were, they were grown men and it wouldn't stop because uh, they were using her to get profit. Police in Barrow began an investigation, finding evidence on her phone that suggested she was being sexually exploited and trafficked by a group of men across the north of England. At times, Eleanor Williams appeared to be a reluctant witness, but over the course of their investigation, police began to suspect that she was lying about the abuse and arrested her. Then, one evening in May 2020, while on bail, she went missing again. She was found badly injured in this field near her family home. She made the decision to go public with her allegations, posting them on Facebook. She was taken into custody within minutes of putting the post up. But the reaction to it was explosive. It was just shockwave, really. It was just right through the town. There were these huge rallies, um, which, you know, loads of people attended, people beeping horns and things like that. People thought, you know, how could this have happened? And, you know, not, I think not too long after that, it was... You know, it was police outside takeaways, it was smashed windows, it was people being abused on social media. Though Miss Williams didn't name anyone in her post, it became public knowledge in Barrow one of the men she'd accused was a local businessman who denied her allegations. Yeah, hi. Hello. Hi, Jason. What was the impact on your family? What kind of threats were you... What well, you the threats we had, we had messages like, the people are going to rape my wife in front of me. Or from, Islam, from Islamophobia to racism to just general hate, people wishing me dead. Mr Ramsden says his children were also threatened. Did you, did you say that they had... Fire extinguishers, baseball bats next to the beds yeah. for the safety, because we had threats. People were going to burn, us, burn the shops down, burn us down. The, the, I own, the, we own these properties, the next door's mine as well. And, and rental properties in town smashed. You know, it was that right. Is that the type of persecution that goes on today? And I'm they a, turned on you. And they turned on me. And do you think that they, 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 the, the majority of the town thought that you were a sex offender? I, I think yes. I would say yes, they did. At Preston Crown Court, evidence emerged. Eleanor Williams appeared to have faked messages and letters to herself, and she admitted staying in a hotel in Blackpool at a time when she'd said she'd been trafficked. The prosecution argued that what Ellie Williams says happened here in Baron Furness is a complete fantasy. And not only that, but she went to great lengths to make people believe that it was true, even buying a hammer to inflict those wounds upon herself. But in court, Ellie Williams said, I didn't buy a hammer to hurt myself. I'm not a psychopath. The jury at Preston Crown Court found that Eleanor Williams lied and was guilty of perverting the course of justice. But what's harder to understand is why she did it. Jason Farrell, Sky News.